Right, I volunteered for a three-minute one, so I'll be really, really short and snappy. I'm Bridget from the University of Roehampton. Uh, I'm not a technology specialist. I'm a um, staff developer and senior lecturer learning and teaching. So we've been using some really simple ways just to get staff and students more engaged in uh, using Moodle, our learning platform. Uh, one of the parts of my job is to look at student reviews of taught sessions, especially uh, things like the NSS, module evaluations. And one thing that comes up time and time again, students don't like really long lectures, they don't like lots of PowerPoints, they often go to sleep. So it's interesting, we've also been working with our team who run Panopto, uh, not to get rid of Panopto, but to look at what else we can do to make sure that they're all engaged, not, not, just, not just some of them. So over the last 12 months, we've developed... Um, a, a series of really short five or six minute seminars. Interesting, Dominic, you mentioned, yeah, the six magic six minutes. So we, we pick six minutes. So we're using them to support our staff development programs. We work mostly with uh, new academics and PhDs who are just starting to teach. Um, it's a really good way to offer advice to new colleagues, perhaps coming from international settings who haven't taught in a British university before, uh, and it's a really good way to share good practice. So what will we be trying to achieve? I'm really interested in inclusion and diversity, and I like the little duckling, fits in with the pig, pig picture we had earlier. Um, so what, if you're the last duckling in that queue, how are you going to get engaged with what's going on? We also wanted to look at how students engage with Moodle, or more importantly, how lots of students don't engage with Moodle. We've got quite a few foundation degrees, and the students are simply not accessing Moodle at all. They're frightened of it. They don't know where to start. We're also thinking about alternative assessment formats, uh, like lots of universities trying to move away from exams and have some of these little six-minute seminars that students can make themselves and to contribute as part of their coursework. So, my colleague uh, from Sheffield, we had to go for a screencast o -matic. <laughs> We love Wallace and Gromit. We thought that was a, it's an easy programme to use. It's quite cheap. We've both bought a copy of it. We don't have technical support, so we just wanted something really simple. We can sit at home in our own um, studies, ju just make these little videos without too much effort. We've gone for really, really simple format. At the moment, we're just using PowerPoints and, and, and images. That, that's it. We just wanted something that we can do, and we can encourage uh, new staff to try without sort of being... Uh, uh, we've got a lovely e-learning team, but I think some colleagues are a bit, bit frightened of them. So we've um, gone for a range of topics. In particular, we're trying to get students and staff having better use of Moodle. Uh, we're also particularly interested in flipped learning and how we can use these uh, to, to encourage students to particularly think about tricky topics, threshold concepts. Here's a, a short example. This is one that we use with our PhD students who've never taught before, just getting to think about what their presentations look like. So these are some of our slides. We keep it really simple, lots of colour. The yellow uh, thought bubbles are actually data that's, that we've got from student focus groups and module evaluations. So uh, when they're stuck on their assessments, where do they go? Lots of them are still saying, well, we look at Wikipedia. <laughs> so we try and keep that, those really engaging. The feedback we've had so far, um, six-minute format works well. Staff like to have presentations rather than uh, reading lots of handouts. They like the colour and graphics. Several people have commented on the voice and the fact that they can hear the voice talking them through presentations. It helps them to be more confident. Now, HR department are going to start using them next year for our staff induction processes because they're nice and easy to use. Thank you. I'm over time, 52 seconds. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Um, I'll be happy to um, email anyone if, if anyone's interested. Thanks very much. Thank you. <laughs>